Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, I'm just glad to be uh, doing these reactions again because I think I've taken a two weeks break or something, and the world doesn't wait for anyone. So yeah, um, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for constantly supporting us. Please continue with the support. We really appreciate by you guys engaging with our stuff, watching our stuff, sharing our stuff, everything that you guys do. We really do appreciate. You can actually find us on Instagram and Facebook as Funny and Jesse. Befriend us, say hi, we'll say hi back. And check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Please, guys, continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I will really, really, really appreciate your help in guiding me what you want to see on this channel and what you'd love to just generally see me react to. So that's that. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Didat, my favorite of course, Christ in Islam part 13 or 15. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Next question. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I just want to ask um, the Sheikh that um, I'm a, I converted to Islam. And he said earlier that in the Quran it says to obey your parents. Well, I'm disobeying my parents because I converted. Um, I'd just like to know if I'm sinning. And if I am, what do I do to make it right? I take it you're concerned that you're disobeying your parents by converting and what can you do to make it right? Is that your question? Okay, that takes the wisdom of Solomon, I think. In the Quran, the solution to your problems is given. In the chapter I mentioned, Surah Maryam, chapter Mary. In that chapter, there is a story of Abraham. Abraham, he was a man of God. He had discovered the way to God, the right concept of God. But his father was an idol worshipper. And now you read the story. Chapter 19, verse 51. It says, And narrate in the book the story of Abraham. He was a man of truth, a prophet. Is Behold, he said to his father, Ya Abati, O my father, Lima ta'budu, ma la yasmau, wa la yufsiru, wa la yughni anka shayya. Said, why do you worship that which can neither hear, nor see, nor profit you nothing? Ya Abati, O my father, inni kajani min al-ilmi, ma lam ya'tika, fattabi'ni ahdika siratan sawiyya. Said, O my father, knowledge has come to me which has not reached you. So follow me and I will show you that the way that is even and straight. Ya Abati, O oh my father. And again, Ya Abati, O oh my father. Four times every verse begins with, O oh my father, O oh my father, O oh my with compassion and feeling for his father. Trying to save him from hellfire. The father, his pagan arrogance, he says, Qala araghibun antan alihati ya Ibrahim. He says, Does thou hate my God or Abraham? He says, get out of my sight for a good long while, I'll otherwise I'll stone you to death. Now, the response of Abraham to that, and the commentary on that is to be found in this book, chapter 19, verse 51, that how a dutiful son ought to, to reason and be, be compassionate towards his unbelieving parents, unbelieving parents. You love them, you respect them, you treat them well. The only thing when it comes to matters between you and God, they have no control. It's between your belief and unbelief, then you have to reject, in, on that respect, you reject their advice, the, 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 the force of the persuasion, the pressure on you. You reject it. But even then, you treat them as your parents, your father and your mother. When it comes to religious matters, they do not come in between you and God. That is what the Quran says. I think you have this Quran. You have a Quran like this, by Yusuf Ali, you have a Quran, 
chapter 19, verse 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and you see the commentary, and he'll tell you the exact position that you must occupy. When it comes to faith, nobody comes in between you and God. Nobody. Not even your father or your mother. But you still love them and you respect them. That's what the Quran says. I can tell you right now, sister, you're not alone. And there are a few people there. I can see familiar faces who'd probably want to say the same thing. We'll go to this brother. Um, I love Amidi Dad's advice and I just love him. Um, how do you know you're not disrespecting your parents sometimes? Because I feel like sometimes parents are the ones that overstep boundaries. Regardless, they're still our parents who should respect them. Um, I feel like I'm born in a generation that feels like we can, we think, in fact, different from our parents. We think differently from our parents. And now we... I feel like people that were born at the same time as me, or let me just say from 1990, I wasn't born in 1990 by the way, but from 1990 downwards up to now, I feel like we have learned that we have a voice when it comes to our parents. When they're trying to teach us something, we feel like we can answer back. That's the thing. While people back then, maybe even if your parents are telling, are scolding you or telling you something, you had to maintain your silence or whatever the case or love to believe that's not the situation now but um even though we have this right to speak back as we want to recognize it or call it we still have to respect them sometimes just listen keep quiet just listen say whatever they're saying let them say whatever they're saying and just listen and just say okay at the end of the day that is way better than going back and forth with your parents way way better although some parents may not know certain things because their thinking is different from us you can also educate them enlighten them not educate them enlighten them and if you have very understanding parents like mine because i think i feel like i can speak to my parents about anything then you will have you your relationship will not only become better but you're going to be free with expressing yourselves because you're able to say to your parents like now this is how things are being done now this is the new this 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 that and you can explain yourself without feeling like you're disrespecting your parents but that also depends on how your parents are we all can't act the same because we come from different households otherwise when it comes to matters of god no one should ever disturb what you believe in or how you practice whatever you practice unless you're practicing something wrong unless you're practicing something harmful to yourself to your relatives to the people around you and they think you shouldn't do it as long as they know about your god as long as you're not taking things to the extreme i don't think any parent will ever want to step in and say otherwise although since she she just not just, but she converted. Maybe parents will be like, mm, why did you do this? Why? Sometimes you have to make your parents understand as to why you've taken a certain step in life and show them that there's actually something good that's going to come out of you converting to a different uh, religion. Maybe that's why you're finding peace. Maybe that's why you feel like now your life can turn around and you can live more righteous. And the other good benefits that come with the religion that you've actually picked, you have to make them understand. I feel like par parents nowadays are really, really understanding. They may not ac fully accept it, but they're going to be like, if that's what you want, then go for it. Although others will just say no. In that situation, I don't even know in that situation because that's not tricky. Otherwise, Despite this, the case, don't ever disrespect your parents. And if at all you disrespect them, you wrong them, you sin towards them, just ask for forgiveness. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I was wrong for saying this to you. You know what, I was wrong for doing this. I'll try and be a better person. So that we can grow in love or something. 
those are my thoughts concerning this video if you guys have anything to say concerning the points made by did that please comment down below i'm always uh, eager to read your comments and feel free to suggest anything for me to react to and i'll be very very happy to react to whatever you suggest make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video